I can't do the beginning. Hi, I'm Tom. Guys, I'm Tom. No, nope, that's weird. I'm Tom. <laughs> my name isn't telling my name anymore. Hey guys, I'm Tom. As I'm going through these 30 days in a row of trying to upload projects, I'm trying to find a balance to strike between them. So I'm trying to do like sharing thoughts and ideas, sharing experiences, attempting to try out different formats. And today something genuinely hit me, which was I wanted to just quickly share my thoughts on why creativity is important, both as someone who has to teach a creative subject every day to teenagers at a high school and someone who wants to create my own original creative work and as someone who's been drawn to creativity for my entire life. The reason I want to talk about this today is because something has happened recently that's never happened before in my entire life. I don't know if you know this or not, but I have what doctors call resting bitch face. This is a chronic condition which means if I'm not actively like engaged in talking with someone or especially if I'm just in my own brain with something, I kind of just... And sometimes if I'm lucky my eyes glaze over and it looks like I'm starting to die on the inside. And so what this communicates to the outside world is He's really upset about something. What's really happening is I'm trying to remember like the actor who played the bad guy in the original Tron or trying to remember the lyrics from the number three song on Total Request Live in 1998. Usually it's nothing too important and it's usually definitely nothing too angry. It's just, it's literally just my face. So for most of my life, I've been very used to people walking up to me even in a good mood and saying, what's wrong, why do you look so angry? And dealing with teenagers on a daily basis, they don't exactly like hold back their thoughts and feelings. So if they think I'm angry or upset about something, that is the first thing they will bring up and address to me when they walk into the classroom. And it's very hard to explain to them that no, I'm just trying to figure out like, why is there Diet Coke and Coke Zero when they both Coca-Cola with zero calories? Over the last few days especially, and twice today, it's not so much a physical face thing, no one has commented on my face, but over the phone, I've had several phone conversations where people have commented that I sound happy, which makes me wonder like, have I always sounded angry or, or what's the deal? But I think the big thing is a lot of times people are asking like, how's work going? And it's the start of the school year and things are always completely crazy. And it's usually one of the more frustrating times of the school year, which is 100% the case this year. Absolutely. It's complete insanity and exhausting. However, when I explain that to people, I guess I don't sound disappointed or upset by it. And so what I think the difference is, is actually these daily videos that I've been making because for so long I've been a creator who doesn't create anything. And now I'm finally back in the habit of creating things and being creative. And I have creative hobbies, creative outlets of expression, but there's something about going to sleep at night, having put something into the world that wasn't there when you woke up in the morning, that is profoundly different from just exploring a hobby. And I'm not trying to say that the stuff I've created is like earth shattering or amazing or anything like that, but it's given me a creative outlet. In doing that, it has put everything else into the perspective. So instead of getting sucked up into like office politics or, you know, all the thousand things that could be frustrated and upset with in normal life, all I think about is like, okay, regardless of how tired I am throughout the day, I have to find a way to create something new and put it together and share it with the world. And I have to figure that out and I have to look at everything different through that creative lens. And it really shows me how important creativity is. I've always known it, but I've never really experienced it from this point of view and what it's done to me emotionally, how it's done, what it's done to me psychologically, what it's done for my relationships and my friendships, just in a couple of weeks of consistent creation. And so real quickly today, that was the thought that I wanted to share, was just the idea that creativity and creation are important, and I think many people understand that and value that, but it's not really until you consistently participate in it that you really see, it's not necessarily only for other people because it can benefit you as the creator in these immeasurable ways. The fact that I can talk to someone on the phone and they notice a difference in my voice and attitude that I don't even notice, is huge. So essentially, I would just like to close out by encouraging anyone and everyone to find a way to be creative on a very regular and consistent basis. It might not mean making like a video for YouTube, but doing something where you're putting something out into the world that didn't exist before. Because that is an unbelievably unique and rewarding experience. It's almost like it could be a solution to so many of life's problems where instead of focusing on them, to just create instead. And so that's the thought that I wanted to explore today and share with you because 
as someone who's had people tell me that I look angry all the time, even when I'm not for most of my life, and now I have people telling me, you seem really happy and things seem to be going great, even though nothing is really seems like it changes, that to me is absolutely evidence that creativity is such an important thing to practice every day in your life. So I encourage everyone to create something every day, something positive. Create something positive every day.